Welcome to the Holland High Tech House at the Hannover Messe 2021. Thanks for joining us today in our event about integrated smart industries for recovery in Europe, with a special focus on the success story of ASML, SAIS and TRUMF, and how this strategic partnership also enables faster recovery in Europe. I believe that manufacturing industries can play a crucial role in boosting economic growth potential, making society more sustainable and keeping Europe resilient and strong. Digital and connected production networks also play a vital role. That's why we call it smart industry. In the end, all of us benefit because innovation is the key to better performance and better products and services. Now you have all uh, developed this breakthrough technology, the EUV technology, but why is the joint EUV development such a major uh, step forward? You can only work together if you build a, a base of trust. In the end, it's about this fair sharing, yeah? uh, but it's based on this trust equation, as we call it. Uh, and that's, that's basically means that you, you need to meet. And that's why I also would like to welcome uh, my two friends here, because, you know, without them, uh, this company, our company, would not be a success. And this is tr truly three companies and one business. But it's also, at the same time, the age of partnerships. Technology has become so complex that no single company can do it alone anymore. Um, and I think the companies that realize that and embrace that first will be the most successful. But believe me, it was not always easy uh, uh, in the partnership, but let alone for Zeiss. We had many discussions internally because <laughs> it needed longer than we thought. But that's also, I think, in a good partnership, we just survived that. But we were successful, which is actually a great thing. Now, what would be your point of view when it comes to a sovereign European industry? We, we love mutual dependency. That's the basis for our success and for our innovation power. We need each other. Mutual dependency is great. You know? And when you have that, you always find a solution. So I think when you look at the geopolitical landscape now, uh, some, you know, uh, I'd say people look for technological sovereignty because they feel single-sidedly dependent. So we should achieve sovereignty through having know-how sovereignty in key enabling technologies, such as tools, such as materials, and then, of course, also such as chip design. And we shouldn't waste money on things where we have no chance. We are actually uh, already for a long time in a war on talents. And I would like to have your opinion on, are we also getting into a war on tech? For us as as size, if I just would take the thought experiment and close the German borders for a few weeks, our businesses would be dead. You know, and not only from delivering to countries, but from sourcing from countries like uh, from all over the place, materials, polishing materials, sensors, actors. It's just impossible. So we would just not survive. Actually, that's a mission impossible for us. Yeah, more than almost sixty percent of all semiconductors are somehow being processed in China. Which one center's advice would you like to give to companies? Uh, invest in R&D, take risks doing so, but understand that the, the ability to leverage that investment, to, to free up this investment, um, you will only have through partnerships and partnerships take patience. It's not easy. It's a bit like a marriage, I think. Um, but in the end, it can be very, very successful. Take a great target, uh, take the risk doing it and search for, for, for great partners joining you in the idea. And also not only choose the partners, there sometimes is a, is a, technology, a, a technology reason to choose partners, but also learn from the culture from each other. Think always about fair sharing of risks and rewards. We are now in this very special uh, period. How do you look to the future from kind of personal view? There won't be going, there won't be any going back to the normal that everybody seeks. I think the time after COVID will not be the same as the time before. I would say the crisis is anyway here. We can't change it. So we have to deal with it. And I always like to see almost everything in life as a learning opportunity. Uh, if it's there and you cannot change it. And so that's why I think there is no way to, to new normal. Also for a company, there is, uh, the, this will really change. And, uh, and it is amazing what we can do. We've seen innovations that will, uh, uh, that will, that will not turn back time. 
Um, and I'm actually very optimistic on going forward because, you know, um, we've learned so much. Uh, we've also learned the dark side, but we also learned the upside of, of what actually happened to us over the last year. Um, and I think we should use that as a stepping uh, stone to keep innovating and to keep growing. Um, I'm an optimist.